In this video, we're going to go from Fusion 360 to Lightburn to where we can laser cut our Automata box out. So, to do that, we're going to open a new file and we have to save it first in order to drag some parts in. So, we can just call it Laser Cut File, Laser Cut Assembly, something along those lines. Make sure it's in the correct folder. Then we'll start dragging some of our parts in. We're going to do two of these ends. We'll drag these two in. Hit OK. I'll go from the front view here just so I can look straight on. Drag another one in. Bring that one just below it, like so. And hit OK. And we are going to drag uh, back in. And we'll drag this over the side here and hit OK, and then the bottom. So it's these four sides. Uh, the reason we don't do the top is because we need to figure out where our holes are going to be for our automata later. So just those four. All right, now we can start assembling using our joint command to start assembling some things together. I'm going to move this off the side here and do the two sides first. So I'm going to use a joint command, and I'm actually going to zoom way in and and select this portion right here. Actually, I like to select the whole entire face first and then the corner, so I know I'm selecting just that corner. We'll turn it over, and that corner should be touching this corner right here. Oh, uh, get that back. So I messed up the second selection, so let's redo that second selection. It should actually should be touching the back corner. So the second one should be touching this back corner, and that's okay easy to make that correction. Let's keep going and we are going to put this inside one another here. So I'm going to say joint. We're going to select this side and maybe this corner right here. And that's going to go all the way to this corner here. Go right inside. Click OK. And then one more. Go ahead and put that same kind of thing in here joint to here and we have one more joint command to click right there let's see how that looks click OK and look from the front view and sure enough so everything is joined together correctly it's kind of another way to test how things are uh, going to turn out for you as well so that's how it has to do it there's going to be some spacing here because it can't go any higher um, but these can be together all right, now we can put it on a title block. So we will say design, drawing from design. And we can just use the 17 by 11 title block and click OK. And we'll put a front view in there. Now, very key, I have to have a one to one scale because I need to have this the exact size. So I'll just click off to the side here and click OK. And I'm going to delete all of the lines so I can select this entire box down here and, and delete it and this entire thing here and delete that so all I'm left with and I can put it right in the middle if I want to is just my lines that I need to be laser cut so we are ready now let's export this as a DXF so this entire sheet and I will call this laser box sides all right, that's it. That's what you have to do in Fusion. So if you need to go back and rewind, do it. Um, now we're going to go to our other software, which is Lightburn. So it should look like this on your desktop, or you can type in Lightburn in your search bar here. Once you open up Lightburn, it will ask you to create a device. If you hadn't done that before, you can create one by sitting Create Manually, scrolling all the way down to the bottom, clicking the last one on the bottom, select Next, USB, because that's how we're going to be plugging it in. And then you can give it a name like Ileana Laser. Uh, and we want to have this, yours is in millimeters, so it's going to be 1200 by 800. Mine's in inches right now, so I'm going to cancel out, put it to millimeters a second, and redo that. That's, so I get back to where you need to be. Yours should be in millimeters. Here we go 1200 by 800. 
doesn't really matter what you call it. I'm going to click next. The origin is going to be in the right rear. Click next again. And I'm ready to add that device. I, however, have it already, but you would add that device and click finish. And then you can double click it. Oops. And then you can click it and hit OK to bring that device up. This is the bed of the laser. So now that I have that set up, uh, we can import, which is this button right here. And we are going to import laser box size wherever you saved it as. I just left it in my downloads because I knew I was just going to do it temporarily. And now I have my box size. I'm going to switch back to inches. It'll help out a little bit here. So this little button right here. Switch back to inches. And the, and the height should be only 8 inches. And the width should be just under 9 because it's kind of locked together. But it's going to cut two different lines right here. So here's a uh, something we're going to do right away. We're going to go to tools. I'm sorry, we're going to go to edit right here and we're going to delete duplicates so any lines that are overlapping one another it deletes them delete duplicates and you should get something like this those a bunch of duplicates were found I click yes and now it doesn't have those duplicates okay um, with all of those selected we, over here is our layers um, if you have to hit the maximize screen so we can see all of our colors down here and we are going to change this. We're going to double click it and change the speed. Like it says in our assignment to 27 and our power to 100. And click OK. Uh, and then that will cut uh, everything out. And we could actually preview that with this little screen right here. And you can hit play and it'll show you how it's going to cut it all out. Just like so. All right. Um, I am going to also show you how to put your name on there. So we'll hit the text tool. Uh, I'm not going to take too long, but you can change whatever font you want. I'm just going to put some text on the back one. And I'll just say Mr. V for now. Then I'll click this one, select it. And I can probably just click it, and it'll automatically kind of move to the middle here. And I'm going to change it to maybe a blue. I'm going to leave it on line, but this time we're going to go to speed of 100 and power of 10. And I want to make sure that gets cut out first. So I'm going to move that up. With it selected, you can move this layer up. So that one goes first. And now we can preview again. You'll see that that one should go first when I hit play. It cuts that out first, and then the boxes around it. We're really close. One more thing we're going to double check here. We want to make sure it does the inner layers first so it doesn't cut out the box beforehand. So I'm going to go to here, this optimization settings. Make sure this is checked out as cut inner shapes first. All right, it should be, but we'll just double check that. And now we're ready to go. We can take this file and go to save as. And we can save it now uh, wherever we need to on a flash drive uh, to take it to the laser cutter. And it will be ready to cut out.